You know, you know what sin is? In the Bible, sin is compared to the to the sickness of leprosy. Does anyone know what leprosy is? Uh, leprosy is a is a sin where your skin starts becoming white. Big blotches of white, and your skin and your flesh goes dead. You can't you can't feel anymore. Okay. When you turn white, it becomes it's completely white. Not pale. Pale means you just get a shade lighter or two shades lighter. But you know what is white? White is like when when your skin color is like this, and you put this. Can you make? Can you tell the difference? Yeah, yeah. Yes. Supposing my color was red, and and now my skin becomes like this white. Will you be able to see it? Yeah, yeah you'll be able to see it. So when Adam sinned, hello guys, listen. When Adam sinned, and when Adam went to stand before God, now the sin has gone inside him and contaminated Adam. Guess what happens to Adam's body? He gets white blotches all over him. So when God sees him, God can tell that he has done something wrong. Why? Because he's not red anymore. He's got white blotches. Yes or no? Yes. Listen, listen, listen to me before you ask the question. Okay, so you, supposing I'm Adam, right? And if you look at me and I'm standing before God, and if you look at me, I'm, I'm red. I have hair, but I'm red all over, right? From foot, because before I haven't sinned. I haven't sinned, I'm red. Now I've, com now I've committed a sin, I'm contaminated. If you look at my body, I have white blotches all over my skin, right? Now you know I've done something yes. wrong, yes or no? Yes. No. Sometimes so, I get cold as bones. So what is the only way, what is the only way that I could cover up my sin? How could I cover up my sin? How could I cover up my sin? Covered with what? Blood. With clothes, what else? Blood. Blood, why? Because blood is red. Blood is red. And Adam is red. So Adam takes the blood and he paints it over all the white spots. And so now when he goes and stands before God, what can God see again? All red. red. And no white spots. You understand? That's why we have to be covered with the blood of Jesus. Because all the white spots, Jesus' red blood covers us. So God cannot see the sin anymore. Yes or no? Is it making sense? And this is the reason why Jesus had to shed his blood. Because when he let his blood go, his blood was enough to cover everybody. Yes or no? Yes. Oh, give me that one. He has a bunch. Alright. Now ask me your question. How about Adam? Adam is red and the devil is red. The devil is not red. Who told you the devil is red? Who, who told you the devil? Where does it say the devel is red? Wait, where did that he is red. Well, how do you know? How do you know he's red? No, huh? he is red. What? See, this is the biggest trick of the devil. You know what the Bible says the devil looks like? What does the Bible say the devil looks like? Guys, sit down. Listen, y'all need to learn to hear this. What does the Bible say that the devil looks like? Why is an angel? Huh? No. Why? Why? Because he was an angel. He looks like an angel. What? You know why you know why the devil is able to trick us? Because he looks like an angel. Just imagine if the devil comes like the like the real self that he is <coughs> and scary, what would you do? You would, you would run away. But how does a person how does a person trick you? How does somebody kidnap you? They come to you as a good person. They come bringing gifts to you and say, some candy, come come get in my car. Yes or no? You see the devil? The, the reason why the devil can trick you is because he comes to you like a angel. Angel. He comes to you like a friend. Is it possible that you can actually see his real form? You can. Because, okay, let me explain this to you. The devil is what? What is the devil? A spirit. He's a spirit. Okay? When the devil, if a devil is a spirit, okay, the only way he can come in a, in a flesh form is how, well, how can he do that? He has to come into someone's body. You understand? He has to take over someone's body. That's the reason. Hey guys, this is the reason why the devil, even in the Garden of Eden, when, when the devil came to tempt Adam and Eve, Adam and Eve were made from flesh. They were made in flesh. And, and the material world has to have something that you can see, touch, taste and feel. Right? You have to use your five senses to see and, and live in the material world. You listening? Yes. Okay. 
So, what did the devil have to do in order to come talk to Eve and Adam? What did they have to do? Some, something that was material. So what did he come in? The snake. He came in the, in the snake. You understand? Yes. So the snake let him in. That was the reason why God punished the snake. Making sense? Yes. Okay. Two questions. The only, the only reason why I asked that's because um, my friend, she said that one night she felt the devil. You can't. That, that's not true. I know. I didn't believe that. Like, that's not yeah. true. Yeah. 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 When you're when they got to you, what about angels? Angels? What? Angels are what? That means you saw God or not? They don't sin. There's good angels and there's bad angels. The good angels don't sin. They only do God's will. The bad angels are Satan and the devils. So why are they white? Why they are white? Because white is a sign of purity. But they're not pure. But the angels are pure. Not all the the, the, the bad ones are not pure. No. But because okay, because you don't see them in their actual form of spirit. Because you don't see them in spirit. Because you can. Because we are material. We can only see, touch, taste, and feel. You understand? So when you see, you can see the spirit world. You can. We cannot. Angels, spirit world can see us. They can see us, but they can talk to us directly. They have to take. They have to come in the form of a, of a person. They have to invade a body, right? This is also the reason why God had to come to earth as a, as a what? Man. As a man. Because the material world can only be controlled by something in flesh. That's why God had to come as a man. Because as, a, as God, as a spirit, he would have no control on this earth. Do you understand? Okay, any other questions? Good, good questions. Okay. Okay, listen, listen, listen to her question. Can you speak it loud enough so everybody can hear you? When the devil goes to someone's body, the person say come in my body or does the devil go Okay. So when a person when the person is, is uh his body I call it an in infestation, okay? Because uh when when a person has a, a evil spirit in them. Did they did they allow the did they call the evil spirit and say come take over my body or no. did the evil spirit take over their body? Take over your body. They take they take they take over. How do they take over? How do they take over? How do you think an evil spirit can take over a human being or an animal's body? They just go in their like in their mouth or nose. Uh, say for an animal, probably for probably for an animal they can they can force themselves in. But for a human being, the, 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 the way they get in is by us, by us opening a little crack in the door or, or a window of our soul. How, we, uh, how, how do we allow that? How do we open our door and allow sin in? How? By sin. sin. Sin is what opens the door. So if we sin, if we sin, we open the door and if there's a little crack in the door, Satan can sneak in. You understand? Sneak in. Okay, so why did what? Because the snake at that time, at that time, the snake allowed Satan in. Yeah, he, he actually allowed, uh, he allowed Satan to, to take over his body and use his body. And that's why he got punished. Because he was, he was willing. Okay, remember when I told you all that every time you need an answer, where do we go? Bible. We go to the Bible. And which book do we go to? Genesis. Genesis. And let me read to you from Genesis chapter 3. Well, actually, this is chapter 5. 4. We are reading the story of Cain and Abel. Who knows who Cain and Abel is? Who is Cain and Abel? The sons of, the sons of, of Adam and Eve. Okay, they were the first two sons of Adam and Eve. His oldest son was Cain. The second son was Abel. Abel. And Abel, Abel and Cain both went both went to God to offer a gift to God. Okay? And it says that Abel, Cain brought brought what did Cain bring? Cain, what did Cain bring as a as a gift to God? He brought Cain brought fruit from the ground. Okay? He brought fruit from the ground. And Abel, what did Abel bring to God? What did Abel bring to God as a gift? He bought a little lamb from the flock. 
Oh. And he brought the lamb and he cut the lamb's throat and he sacrificed the lamb. Okay, and then he put the lamb on the altar and he burnt the whole lamb. And when the fire went up, God smelled the fire and he was happy and he accepted the gift. But the gift of Cain, he didn't accept the gift, right? Now, think, think about this. Who worked harder? Who worked harder? Was it Cain or Abel? Cain worked harder because he's working in the field, he has to dig. He has to do all that, right? So how is he trying to get to heaven? On his own effort. On his own effort. He's trying to work and get his way into heaven. What did Abel do? Just cut the lamb. He used the blood. And because he used the blood, that's why God accepted it. Because the lamb pointed to? Who did the lamb point to? The lamb pointed to who? God. Jesus. The, the, the lamb pointed to, to Jesus. Because, because Jesus is called the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. You understand? That's why God accepted Abel's offering and he rejected Cain. And Cain got jealous because Abel was the younger brother and he thought that he was going to be the one that's going to save everyone. Right? And his mom and dad probably spoiled him because he also was the eldest. And, and he, he already started thinking. What did he start thinking when he got jealous? What do, you, what do you think? If you get jealous or you get angry with your brother or sister, what do you want to do? Fight! You want to beat him! Right? He hasn't beaten him yet. But he's thinking about it. And God says that even if you think about it, you're opening a door for Satan to get in. And once he comes in, he's like a roaring lion. He'll take over. He'll kill you and he'll overpower you and he'll you up. Why? That's how Satan gets into us. You understand? No, you're welcome. Alright, one of you all want to put the Bible back? Or two of you all? Yeah, go, go. Let it go, let it go! Did we, did we have a good class today? Yes! Did you learn something? Yes! Did you learn something? No? No? I have a question. When did you say about Seinfeld? Version 5? You guys play too much. No, I'm pretty glad when did you say about Seinfeld? Hail Mary, and then we are going to get this. Thing. 